What up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing another call time draft. This is our second call time draft. So again, if it sucks, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But it's our second draft. Gashnar, thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also, I got my new cube box. You guys want to see my new cube box from Aaron Kane? It's got a handle on it. I asked him specifically for a handle. <clears throat> Look at this bad boy. And this is a little dice vault, and it just fits right in there. Put that. Oh, that's not gonna fit anymore. It fit because the cards were down. I just have it in there as a as a placeholder. But let's see what we're drafting here. <clears throat> that is a rectangle. It does two damage each creature for creature dealt damage with an exile. It's sure, that's pretty good. Oh, Michael's still here? I thought Michael went to bed. Oh my god, Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. We have 11 seconds. I think it's just Crush the Week. Crush the Week seems good. <clears throat> what does this guy do? Whenever one or more elves enter the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one elf. Okay, I'm going to be honest. This guy seems banging. Organizing cards also no. Oh man, Michael always works on Saturday. Look at the top five cards. You can reveal an elf. I think we just take Elvish Warmaster and hope to draft elves, right? And I guess we'll put this in the sideboard for now. Oh, this is a 3 2 for 4. This is like Ambassador Oak, except it makes two elves. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of this guy. This guy seems bananas. Colossal Plow. When it attacks, add three white. You gain three until the end of turn. You don't lose this mana. Crew six? Why does it cost so much to crew, man? Might just be Death Knell Berserker. <clears throat> but Bound in, Bound in Gold is also good. Do you guys know if, if green white is, a, is an elf color or is it only green black? You have 38 seconds to respond. I just like, I feel like if you have six power and creatures, just use those. I guess, I guess it's because you want it with the ox. I guess it's just a combo with the ox. Because I really want to take the bound in gold. But it doesn't really go with the elvish. I guess it does. I guess we can take just a bunch. Of, I think it's just, I'm just taking bound in gold. I don't think Death Knell Berserker is that great anyway. What does this guy do? 4-4 four, four for 6. When it enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1 in haste. Plus 1, plus 1 in haste. Not as good. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature control. That creature fights up to 1 creature. Yeah, that card seems great. Wow, especially with Fortel. Create a 1-1 one, one human token. Yeah, you're right. All right. When this enters the battlefield, draw a card. I actually like this a lot. That seems great. Plus four, plus four. For each creature you control against Trample, it must be blocked if able. That seems like an uncommon, actually. But, eh, what are you going to do? Elder Fang. I wonder elves under that field under control. Jeez, I feel like it's got to be... Yeah, I'm going to take the pack mate, but like, I feel like I am leaning towards the possibilities in black are just going to be better for us than stupid tokens, right? I mean, because Bound and Glory's... Bound and Gold is great, but like... I guess it, this is... Mm, I'll just take the shield, mate. We're going to go wide here. Right? Ah, oh, God. Sure, why not? <coughs> Spectral Steel seems decent. We didn't draw a, we didn't draw our Ascendant uh, figure of destiny once last game. Or last draft, rather. I'm going to take Seraph's pack, mate, here. Did you, did you say draw a card on the end of the battlefield and you can play him on turn three? Come on. That's what Father likes. <clears throat> um, don't care about the ox. This is a one-two for one. Time on tech creature. This, so this is the this is the equivalent of like the uh, weird card from. 
I just don't think this is going to have three power when it dies. I just don't think it's... It's just a generic 2-2 two -two elf. I'll take this elf instead. Like, I just... I wanted more elves for the for the War Master, but I think if we even if we just have elves in green, it should be fine. That's what friends are for. <clears throat> Another sentinel. Broken wings is probably pretty decent. War we might just want a warhorn blast. Yeah, I'm going to take this warhorn blast. And I think we can pick up another broken wings because i'm pretty sure i saw there it is what does this do sacrifice to put a one encounter on each of the two creatures they can vigilance and lifelink i think this is probably better and i think there's still another broken wings going around <clears throat> we'll take this in case we want to splash a, a blue somehow if only we're bad yeah if only badger were here to see this elves deck What's our curve looking like? We have like four foretell cards right now. Oh, didn't wanna. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, plus two, plus two, reach and has every creature type. If this had flash, I think it'd be a lot better. King Harold's Revenge. I think this card is still fine. Like, giving a creature plus one, plus one, and, and making sure it has to be blocked is just fine. Keep in mind, it doesn't say it has to be blocked by all creatures, just that it has to be blocked. So if they have, like, a 1-1. One, one. And it does gain trample, so. Um, yeah, okay. I'll take a, a not volt. 4-2 for, for three with reach is not terrible. That enchantment does make a creature. Wow, blow on the snow again? Jeez, we have to pass that? We're going to get wrecked by it. <sighs> okay, so this makes a 2 3 for 3, and it is an elf. Oh, that's actually pretty good. There's a lot of reach in this set. Um, 2 3, I don't think we're going to be able to pump this guy ever. 1 1 for 2, when it enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. So this is just an elf. That's pretty good. I mean, I'd love to take Blood on the Snow, but we're just way too far into the... Yeah, I'm just going to take Elven Bow here. And hope we don't play against the person who takes Blood on the Snow. Oh, man, we could have Blood on the Snow followed by Narfi. <laughs> Avalanche Caller? Oh, that's brutal. Grizzled Outrider seems pretty phenomenal. 5-5 five, five for 5, that is an Elf. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Arctic Tree Line could be decent. What does this what does this one do? Crew three. When it attacks, look at the top card of your library if it's a landing we put it on the battlefield tapped. That actually seems pretty decent. Spirit. Oh four. When it enters the battlefield, search the library for a snow land, reel it. It gets plus one plus oh for each other's snow permanent control. We're not there. This guy seems fine. Another bound in gold, actually. I think it's actually bound in gold here. Otherwise, I might be tempted to take the Glade Walker because we want more two drops. Second bound in gold seems real strong. 2-2, two, two, whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. That card seems fantastic. What is this going to do? 3-2 flyer for four. You pay two and exile a creature from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. And that seems good. What's our curve looking like? <clears throat> God damn it, I keep clicking that button instead of this. Um, I think it's either Stalwart Valkyrie or Raiders Raiders Carve. I think I actually like the carve better. I've this card seems really good. Is this not good? Dwarf. Huh. Masked Vandal is an elf. When there's battlefield, may exile a creature from your graveyard if you do exile target artifact. Yeah, this actually seems great. Oof, Valkyrie Sword is fantastic. 
three three for four exile creature card from your graveyard put two counters on a creature wow both of these seem very very good also horizon seeker is pretty sweet it's not an elf but it is pretty sweet i think we're just taking the sword sword seems really really good oh man glade warden seems amazing though yeah the sword is bananas though Blizzard Brawl. Choose a creature you control and target creature you don't control. If you control three or more snow permanents. Okay, so that's not relevant, but it's it's still a one mana fight card. Which is probably maybe Gold Maw Champion actually seems pretty decent. I mean we already have one fight card and two bound in golds. I don't think we need another. I think I'd almost rather have another fat guy. Plus four, plus four, four, two, Warhorn Blast. I mean, Raven Wings is decent if you put on like a Grizzled Outrider. Sure, that seems fine. Guardian came back. Another elf. Four, 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 five. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about that. Yeah, we'll just take Guardian. He is a thick boy. Oh, the stronghold came back? That's pretty cool. I mean, we're, we've seen like 14 story seekers. I don't care about them a ton. Oh, another guardian gladewalker. That's great. That seems better than Courser right now. <sighs> Maybe. Actually, I'm going to take the Courser because it does make both our Raiders car and our and our um What is the other one? Uh, the Valkyrie sword better. Oh, and we get another one too, so that's pretty cool. Is this the fight card? Yeah, we're taking that. Snow covered? Sure, why not? This deck looks sweet too. We're already at 20 cards and we have a third pack. I mean, I assume some of these cards are not going to be played, right? I'm actually okay with everything here so far. I think Sentinel might be one of the the most questionable cards, but I'm not even... Who's the, who's the art for that? Alexander Mokov? That angel is fantastic. Guys, we finally got that Broken Wings we were looking for. Oh, well, let's see what we got here. Don't care about Magda. <laughs> um... No, no, no. No. I think it might just be another Courser. I mean, I also don't hate God. I don't hate 3 6 for what's essentially f 4 man on turn 4 but I think this guy's probably better. It's just a 2-2 flyer for three, which is classic. That also just uh, does, a, does a deed for you. I like Horizon Seeker a lot. It's basically when it attacks, you can pay two to draw a card, essentially. I would take Invoke, but we already have Broken Wings, and we have Masked Vandal. Just take Horizon Seeker. It's not an elf, which is unfortunate, but there's no elves that were passing in this tank and I, so... We could have double Avalanche Caller. That would have been cool. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, create a treasure. It's not terrible. Do I need a third Grizzled Outrider? Please check Discord. What am I checking exactly? I kind of like Roots just because it gives us a second War Master. I don't think it's... I don't think we're going to main deck it, but... Ooh! Put a 1-1 one -one counter up to one creature. Do it twice. Exile a creature with the greatest power among target creatures target opponent controls. I mean, that seems pretty decent. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, Binding of the Old Gods is also real sweet. 
but we're not playing black, so. If that Bloodline Predator comes back, I think it's called Bloodline Predator. That'd be pretty sweet. I'll take a plus four, plus four for three. We already have enough reach and enough creatures with uh, with flying. <gasps> what is this? Two, three, four, five. Other creatures get plus one, plus one. Remember land and does battlefield create a one, one unit? Yeah, we're just taking that. It's not a it's not an elf, but you know, wow, we could have three strongholds. That's pretty wild. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna find the. Uh, <laughs> I have to go here. Thank oh, you. Lord. What's the pick here? I mean, do we have? I don't think we have this guy yet. Oh, good. I was actually hoping to pick up an El Elderleaf Mentor. Another two drop. I kind of like that. All right, nothing exciting here. I'll just take this value value creature. <laughs> okay, so this is what Music Manly just posted. Oh, good lord. Good times. Good times. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, not Music Manly. Uh, Mediocre Magic Man, sorry. I literally get Music Manly and Mediocre Magic Man confused a lot because they both have so many M's in their name. Yeah, we got two not void, vo vold recluses in our sideboard. All right, this deck looks sweet, but we do need like f four cuts. So let's get to it. All right. I kind of want to cut this guy. I think anything that can't crew this, like this is a... This is a 3 2. This is a 4 2. These are 2 2s, but they do good things, especially with like. I kind of like Raven Wings here. I think we can cut this guy. I don't think it's great. Elven Bow and Valkyrie Shield are both great. They can, we probably have enough. Hmm. Recutting. Gold Maw. Like, we have Double Bound in Glory. We have. Double struggle for Skemfar. The foretell in this is interesting because it's literally just cheaper. I guess you can't do it in the same turn, though, so... I guess all M's look the same to you. Uh, I think we can probably cut Raven Wings. God, plus one, plus one flying seems so good, though. Especially on, like, one of these fatties. I think I can cut, probably cut not Volt Recluse. I don't know. This guy just doesn't impress me. How many creatures do we have? I think it's a lot. Only 15. I would have actually thought more. Hmm. <sighs> so the problem is I like Elven Bow and I like Valkyrie Sword, but neither of them, like, e evade anything. I'm going to cut it. I think it's worse than both of our other two equipments. I kind of want to try Raiders. Has anyone had, has anyone played Raiders Carved? Have you ever gone to a music show and instead went to a magic show? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I tried to go to the Steve Miller band cause I really wanted to hear them play abracadabra, but instead I just ended up at a magic show. It was really awkward. I 
This is seven ten. I think we're I think we're closer to eight nine here. We need one more cut, or do we not care? Do we not need the cut? I don't think our opponents foretold anything in our last in our last entire draft. I don't think they foretold anything in any of our rounds. Forty one, guys. Forty one. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is a turn two this guy. Or turn three this guy to hit our third land if we really don't have anything, so. Eh, bro, could that, bro? I wanna reach out and grab ya. I heat up. I can't slow down. This chat is so quiet for having over 100 people in here. I feel like everyone just put put the video on and they were like, you know what? I'm just going to let Frank lull me to sleep with his dulcet tones. <laughs> you a Sugar Ray fan? Is anyone a Sugar Ray fan? I mean, I'm a fan in so much. I, I, I like, I can, I can sing... Uh, addictive words from Sugar Ray songs but I'm never like you know what I'm gonna pop in a Sugar Ray CD and listen to the, some Sugar Ray hits they do make me think of like the early 2000s late 90s very very probably right, late 90s right I'm gonna look out when Sugar Ray Fly came out is our opponent not gonna 1997 holy crap dude that's insane that's 24 years ago you're gonna see how good foretell is right here we're gonna play a 3-3 on turn 3 I still think this is better because we, we want to hit lands so I don't care about Glade Walker here I'd rather play a 3-3 three, three, uh, on turn 3 and try to hit an extra land. We were 3 then. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's, see, that's a great hit. Wow. And we get to draw a card? Oh, man. We're living the dream. If we hit one more land, we can go War Master. Wait, hold on. Never one more else. Oh, we can go War Master into Guardian Glade Walker and plus this guy. Is this what magic feels like? Looking at all these Sugar Ray songs. Oh, cool. So what does this do? What's your reverse side? Um, non-creature spells. Your friends can turn cast. Non-creature spells. Okay. I mean, I just bound in gold this guy. Not hitting a land is rough. We can also just Raiders carve here. Which I kind of like, because, I don't know, us taking two doesn't really do much, and this is going to attack anyway, so whatever. Yeah, looking at all the Sugar Ray songs when I googled Fly, um, I think they definitely have enough to, to fill a hits album. I haven't had to pirate music ever since the uh, this thing called Spotify has existed. What does this rune do? Lifelink, huh? 
Okie dokie. So... Falling in love again. Wait, what? Oh no, I'm not I'm not crewing it. <laughs> I was like, what? I already did that. Oh yeah, take that action. Oh yeah, we've already profited. And when you go 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 uh -huh, you know. I keep thinking this is like um Shalai for some reason. It's just a 2-3 lifelink. The snow part doesn't matter, and the non-creature spell doesn't matter part. Like, this is really not that oppressive. <laughs> this is... This fucking spider is driving this boat, bro. <laughs> that was one of my favorite things with, with vehicles in, the in like, Kaladesh, is that you had, like, these ridiculous scenarios where you're like, Oh, shit, look at that bird piloting that fucking helicopter. It never ends. No, there's every morning. Every morning. And then there's someday. Which was, I think, what we were doing there. Um, then there's When It's Over. Which also might have been what we're doing there. I think all the Sugar Ray songs actually are the same. What did they do? They Oh, they just foretold two cards? And when we go, go, go. To never end. Oh yeah, look at this. We're like hitting the gas, but then we're drawing we're 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 drawing the gas but hitting the lands off of the Raiders carve. Oh baby. Going wide here. You think they got a Doom Scar? I don't think so, otherwise they probably would have blocked. So that's good. Is this motherfucker's sugar race stream now? If I did one alcohol for a mention I might be doubled. <laughs> Michael, don't die. It never ends. Every morning there's a halo hanging from my corner of my reference photo's bed. Burr, burr, burr. So what happens? Okay, so this was a what? A 3-4? Alright, well that's sad. Didn't Sugar Ray DJ the Scooby-Doo movie Island? I have no idea what that sentence means. Didn't Sugar Ray DJ the Scooby-Doo movie Island? What? <laughs> what a sentence, man. God, we're just like... God, this is just like... Oh, wow. This guy can still crew, though, which is... No, it can, actually. It's too gold. So we can actually play this guy. Bound and gold this thing. God damn it. I keep trying to crew it. Oh, okay. That's fine. We'll keep it. We don't have a choice. It's like, I'll keep it on top. Hey, you don't get to choose, buddy. God. Just keep getting in there, man. I No, I didn't get the gist. That's the thing. I personally didn't. Hero Scaper guy did. Okay, what does this thing do? This is it rare? Creature, create a colorless snow artifact named Icy Manolith with... Okay, so you're basically just making a... Oh, you're just making a, a thing. All right. Or you can tap eight mana? Sure. 
You got trample? All right, no blocks. Some things that you used to say have gone out the window. All my favorite TV shows. Okay, so the thing is, we can actually play Courser. And then fall for... Oh, I guess it's... Oh, did you see that? It was like... <sighs> what if we play this guy and then we... Oh, yeah, we're going to do this. Because then if we... Oh, that makes it so much better. Oh my god, stop. One, two. You gotta got reach? Okay. Dang it! I mean, I don't want to complain about that. That's still pretty good. And now you gotta chump with this guy if you want. Nah, that seems bad. You don't have to. You can just take eight, but that seems worse. Alright, well. They have six power on board, so if they have a way to deal us three... And get rid of this guy. Alright, that's pretty good. Wait, did they not pay it with the extra two? Because it only costs three to equip, right? So it would have an extra five. You have an extra three that you're going to do nothing with. Unless you just make an icy manolith. Yeah, the reach is good. Three six is good. <laughs> Binding that dude in gold is good. So I'm pretty sure we just play Courser into Bound in Gold. Gotti. Better make that Manolith. Aren't they just dead? They gotta be just dead here. I ain't even gonna... I ain't even gonna do the math. Just send them all into the red zone. Send them on down. Rat train. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> so Broken Wings hits their Bound in Gold, their, their Flyer... And their elvish thing. I think we actually just play two broken wings. That seems pretty good. Take out one bound in gold. I don't know. The reason being that like they're probably also boarding in a bunch of stuff that kills <gasps> enchantments and artifacts. Actually, we do have... We have Mast Vandal, so I'll just do a one for one. Do I really want to take out Removal? I don't even know, man. It was hard enough taking out the 41st card, so... It's learn to fly again, learn to live so free. And when you hear the voices sing, the book of love will lift you up. And, and let us in, I think. Learn to fly again, learn to live so free. And when you hear the voices sing, the book of love will open. The book of love will open up and let us in. Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, that's it. Nailed it. I know some 80s, bro. Okay, I know a lot of 80s, but... Alright, that's a good dude. I really want to play this guy and then, like, just throw him down. Ooh, what if we... What if we... Or foretell this. Next turn we can play this guy as a 2-2, make him a 3-3 and fight here if we want to. Or if they play, like, Rydar or something. Rydar, is that what it's called? <laughs> Which I think is a 2-3. Oh boy. They gotta play something, right? Ah, three two is worse. Wow, that's pretty good though. Jeez. I mean, like, I still want to just get this off the board. I don't want to have a bunch of guys. This will also be a 2-2, which means we, we just don't have good blocks against this guy, so whatever. Pretty good. I need to foretell something. Our hand is pretty bad right now. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty easy block. Oh, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, we just have. So we can actually play five five into two three plus land, and their board isn't that great right now. So. I'm letting Kerwin know that we've been live for like two hours. This is nice because none of their guys are big enough to fight us, even if they get plus one, plus one. So it has to be like bound in gold or something. I'll take these broken wings. And they have your boy. So that's good. That's a good thing. None of these cards are super problematic. Wait, you cast... Why wouldn't you cast this first and then cast this? That seems like a mistake.
All right, no attacks. Man, extra lands that make two twos are pretty good. I'm a fan of the lands. This guy's really good for for a for a three drop, a two four for three. Constant quarreling and childish fans. Only foolish attempts to show you who don't speak. Huh. What do I think is the strongest archetype in Kaldheim? Having done two drafts, I have no idea. I'm incapable of telling you. Yeah, I'll th oh, we're actually at five? Oh, shit. I think we want to actually crack this and gain some life next turn. Especially because this guy gets vigilant, so we're going to be gaining six. Oh, that's pretty good. Jeez. We're one mana shy of doing both. That's unfortunate. This will be a 3-4, so they can actually double block. Which is not great for us. Are they getting Instructable? No, Vigilance and Lifelink. Huh. Don't love that. So they can one, two, three, four, five, six. What does this do? Look at the top four cards. You can cast a spell without. Yeah, that's pretty good. The problem is they just block with a 3-2 and the 1-1, one, one, and then we just don't have an answer for this. I think we just play this guy. We try to survive one more turn. Yeah, they're going to make a thing. Okay, so they can cast, they can spell a Ice Shaper here, but it does tap it. If there's a removal spell for this Recluse in the top four cards, then they, they got us. <sighs> Utter Pellin, have a good night, buddy. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one delicious... <laughs> what? Why would you choose that? One delicious snack cake, but Kerwin, I appreciate you, buddy. Man, if only I if only I told you I was streaming two hours... I always feel like I, I rely on Twitch. I'm like, hey, Twitch. This guy... Do I want it on this guy? Like, again, they can just block with these two, and then we don't have an answer, but I guess we're going to a million. Not attacking with this guy. That's not a great trade. But we're gaining, like, 13 life here, so... Yeah, this is fine. It, they, like, it doesn't even matter if they trade anymore, because we're at, like, a million... Yeah, that's pretty good. If they want to spend eight mana every single turn, just getting one card off of Spell Ice Shaper, like, that's also fine. 
But if they have nothing else to do, then it's also like, well, it's fine, I guess. Okay. making guys. This is also a 2-3, so I actually feel fine attacking. They're also at 11, so, like, they have to hit something good off of this. Ooh, what if they do? Is it going to be bigger than, like, a 7-7? Seven, seven? If they block here, they take 7, 8, 9, 10, they die. So they actually have to, like, block here with whatever they hit. They could go block. <sighs> that doesn't do anything. This is a good... I mean, this this deck seems sweet as well. I mean, I'll definitely pay three to make a 2-3 a with reach. Oh, I mean, this puts lethal, right? Like, if they if they block here, they take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So they have to, like, j block here and then hope they hit something with this guy. And if they don't, they're dead. Or they can chump here, hope they hit something else. Yeah, they have to do this, otherwise they're not dead on board. Oh, they didn't even activate that guy. Um... You know what? I'm going to play this just because... What? Oh, auto pay. Yes. I was like, wait, what? No. I'm going to play it just because I don't want to go to nine. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's stupid. They're going to top deck a Doom Scar and we're going to feel real stupid. Oh, God. Yeah, the problem with leaving this 2-3 back means they can just block one of these guys and take 9 and then nothing happens. And then that gives them a turn to activate the uh, this guy and then they get another turn to like draw whatever they have, right? So like by attacking with everything including this guy we're, we're making them dead on board. Ooh, a triumph of an axe. Okay. Our deck seems sweet. I don't know if it's gonna... Um, yeah, this seems good. I like turn two, this guy. Turn turn so this actually doesn't reduce the cost of these actually i've just realized because these are enter the battlefield triggers and uh i said earlier that like oh this makes it cost less it doesn't so no one no one corrected me but you guys are wrong for not correcting me I was busy jamming on the sugar. That makes sense. I don't blame you, man. I retract my blame. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. We have nothing to do on two, so I'm just going to foretell this guy, and then we can either play a 3-3 three, three, or a 2-2 two, two, or a 4-3, so we have lots of options. I 
think I just like having Tutu better. So, you know, that's how we do. Glad to play. You finally been a big fan. Oh, Silk One, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Or Slick One, rather. Yeah, your deck seems sweet. Not Vold Slumber Mound. <laughs> You can tell this card's never going to be played in Constructed because they would they would never call it Not Bold Slumber Mound. Untap a Snowland. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'm tempted to fight here just because this puts them on five mana next turn, but maybe we just play Elven Bow? This makes a 2-3. This is a 4-2. It doesn't block well. But next turn, if we're planning to kill whatever they play, I think I'd rather just have this big fat idiot out. Right? Because if they make a 5-drop, that's ah, probably going to be a 4-4, four, four, though. Well, dang it. Pretty good. Rude. But good. What does this do? Search library for a basic land, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Oh god, are they going to kill in response? No. They just untap their land. I bet they're doing this for nothing. It's always so hilarious when they're like, untap my land, and you're like, okay, but now what? Oh, nothing, just kidding. <laughs> it was just a thing I could do, so I did it. Well, okay, that's weird, but alright. I don't get it. Oh, that's a real weird play. We got 3-2 here? Okay, well. Six mana, huh? So I can go this guy, I can go this guy into this guy. I mean, with this guy being five damage, I'm just like not even going to mess around here. Like, we have lethal on board, so... In the Fang Bearer. Seems good. Um, I mean, we're just gonna alpha here, right? Like, and then play Packmate. Sure. Oh, if only we drew that first. We could have not cast it. My bad. Well, they are one land shy of pathing the world tree. 
sure. You got it, my dude. Um, okay, this is, this is what's known as lethal, my friends. Crushy, crushy. Got he. Yeah, the, the guy who makes the dude, it sucked because my hand was full of lands, and then we hit that dude, and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. That gives me a good thing to do with all these lands. It's like broken wings. Actually, what do we see? We saw like one thing, right? Like pa the path of the world tree or whatever. And we already have masked vandal. No, I'm just submitting. Uh, this is fine. A little slow, but it's okay. And it's a pretty solid curve, right? Like, 4-drop, 5-drop, 6-drop land. They did nothing. They foretold something. Um, huh. You know what? If I can get in there for 4 and potentially deny the mana... I mean, I'm pretty okay with that. Plus, we get to play 5-5 five, five next turn. Into Maya Bretagard. Okay. Maya Bretagard. There, you got four mana. Better make it count. They just have green red. I don't think that's going to be enough to do anything to this guy. So. Six, you. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of sweet. So this goes up to a seven, and they're tapped out. Huh. So we can play both things? Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, 
Um, let's get rid of this 2-3. Um, so if they block here, they take 8, and they go to 2. I don't think there's a benefit to that. They're going to take 8 if they don't block anyway, so... Yeah, that's fine. I feel like they're just dead, but... Like, I mean, even if they wipe the board, we still get to go Elderleaf Mentor, Crew Raiders, and Arf. Carf. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. This is good. But now what? Like, don't we just get the Alpha and... No, I guess they're not dead. Ooh, it comes in and play tapped. Make a guy. These lands seem really good if they're in your colors. No incentive to play any more creatures onto the board. And that'll do. Wow, 2-0. We are 5-0 in Kaldheim drafts so far. Sometimes you just know what you're doing, you know? He said arrogantly, completely arrogantly. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we're playing first. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> um... I'll keep this seven. I don't think it's great, but I think our deck is definitely strong enough to to get her done. I don't think we're just running out of Mast Vandal. This guy's more of a utility card that gets rid of an artifact or an enchantment. Alexa, what's your volume set to? This device is at volume three. Alexa, volume three. Sorry guys, if I turned your if I turned your echo volumes down. This guy's coming out. Three one lifelink, huh? Seems like an easy block here. Okay. Ding, ding, ba, ding, ding. I kind of just don't like the card advantage this guy provides. Tempted to bound him in gold, but...
Okay. Well, another one. And a 2 2 reactor to boast ability. Put a 1 1 counter on it. That's good. Sure, we're just going to double block here. I like that it's just a land. That's good. I'm sure they have a trick. Okay. Seems good. Well, that would have been better previously. Might just play this guy. Eh, we don't really have a reason to, I guess. Actually, had I known what this does, I probably would have kept that in. I would have kept my land. ideal yeah so this is funny because we had like our worst draw this game but it's also like the matchup where we're punished most for having a bad draw wow of course we ugh, what a what a misplay getting rid of that one land was really bad for us unfortunately yep okie dokie Well, they have one card in hand. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a bummer. God, I can't believe how big of a difference that literal playing that one land made, you know? Okay, that was actually a really good draw. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's not as good. Ah, dang it. This guy's too big. And then they just move the, the stupid raven wings over. Yep. Cool. Just had it all. I think I just might want the one. Actually, the this guy's probably better than this guy. Yeah, that seems good. Oh yeah, double pack mate. Yeah, this is the hand. Might actually play this next turn. I don't think that's better though, right? Like it's better to just go pack mate into Elder Leaf Mentor. Like getting a three three on the board seems pretty bananas. Plus we can play this guy when we don't have a fourth land. I wish I was a burden addition to my other types. One day, buddy. One day. Is that guy getting haste? I'll trade. Okay. Sounds bad. Missing a land drop is kind of rough. Takes everything you got. I mean, these are all easy blocks. Hmm. That's pretty insane. But they're not playing it as Tybalt, so that's good. Super Fritz with the gifted sub too. Weezer is amazing. Sounds good. Sounds good. Man, I didn't even know Super Fritz was here. You got it. 
Wouldn't you like to get away? Wow, if I could draw a fourth land, this would be amazing. Unfortunately, I can't. Wouldn't you like to get away? I mean, we could be... Jeez. Like, we've missed, like, three land drops. It's kind of brutal. Interesting. Okay, mono haste creatures. All right. Wouldn't you like to get away? I, I mean, they're tapped out right now. I kind of like going uh, struggle for Skemfar here. I'm just killing one of these things. Probably Valky. These guys are pretty redundant. I mean, not only do we get our card back, right? Yeah, and then, but but also like, what? What does that do? What did that do? That was weird. <laughs> A literal cabbage. Yeah, we're definitely blocking this guy. Unless they attack with this guy. Or we'll just take three. I'm just taking three. We have so much better cards coming down the pipe. Including Mentor, which puts two dudes on the board. Still not going to attack. We're at 10, they're at 21. They have the, uh, they have the real advantage here. Sometimes you want to go. On the bright side? Oh, that's sad. I was going to say, on the bright side, this only costs six mana. Not anymore. Easy block. Okay. Let's play a fat boy. I think we're coming back here. Like, with them only having four... Ugh, oh, that's really obnoxious, actually. Yep, that's pretty bad for us. Are we going to really lose to this? I mean, I guess we could play... Nope, that doesn't give... Yeah, actually, I think we're just dead to that. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Wow. Yep, that'll do. You know what? We'll draw one card. That's a, that's hilarious. <laughs> Nothing's got reach, right? Okie dokie. Oh boy. Should have traded when I had the chance, Charles. <laughs> Long counter. Plus two, plus one. Wait, could I have activated this? Oh, maybe we should have just activated that on these two guys and attacked. That would have kept us alive, and I wouldn't have been a terrible magic player. Ugh, that's frustrating. Yeah, we could have gained eight. <laughs> and that, yeah. I, ugh, that's so frustrating. That was my bad. Well, it's our second draft, so missing uh, an onboard trick is not the best. Not totally unexpected. Oh, well, 2-1. Two, two, Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash prankleboard. And be sure to head over and subscribe if you are able to. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. I really personally appreciate it. And uh, you guys can also check out manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.